Всем привет! In this video I want to show you a few simple tools that will make your renaming never a tiresome and time consuming task again. I have tools for batch renaming use, sheets, room names, family types, and if you have any other suggestion drop a comment below and I might add it in the EF tools later. is part of EF Tools extension. It's absolutely free and you can follow the link in the description that will show you how to install it. You can help me spread the word about this extension by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos so more people can find out about it. Now let's go back to renaming tools. Meanwhile I have prepared this file where I have already duplicated views and sheets but haven't renamed them. I want to do this together with you. So let's start with the views. To do this select all the views you would like to rename at once, come to EF Tools tab, Look for naming and click on this rename. There are a few options here. In this case, I want to click on find and replace use. My dialog menu will pop up and there's only four parameters and they do exactly what they say. I want to take this hashtag symbol with a star. I want to replace it with a type. I don't want any prefix or suffix, so I'll just click on rename. Also, I've noticed that we need to change numbering on these views. Go to this tool again. Then I type 02.01. I have typed here 02.02. .02. Rename. And we have renamed all of our views. Now let's go to the sheets. Same as with views, I select all of my sheets all at once. Go to rename pull down menu. Here I look for final replace in sheets. Click on this one. It's the same dialog box, but there are two columns because one is for the sheet number and the other is for sheet name. First of all, let's replace 02.01 with 02.02. .02. And in sheet name, I would like to replace hashtag with a type. Okay, now I want to get rid of the star. Click here. Put here a star and I replace it with nothing. Rename. And here we go. These tools cannot be any simpler. It also works with room names and family types. Let me show you how it works. To rename your family types, there are two ways you, you can do it. One way you can select instances such as, for example, these walls. Then as usual, we go to EF Tools tab, rename, find and replace in family types. It's the same logic as before. I'm just going to type renamed in prefix and click on rename button. And if I select any of this wall, as you can see, all of them have renamed as their prefix. Another way you can use it, if you go to your project browser to the families, and let's say I want to select doors, single flush, select all of these. And I can also run it from here. I can say find X, replace with door type, dash, and rename. Oops, there was another X in the type name. Let's go back and try it again. Select them all, rename, family types. This time let's type x and 0 because all of them start with the same number. And I want to replace with door type. And let's not forget the 0 that we are replacing. This time it worked exactly like I wanted. Sometimes you need to think twice to achieve the exact result you want. By now, I think you get the idea how these tools work. And I don't think that I need to show you how to rename multiple rooms at once. Instead, I want to show you another tool that is very closely related. In this view, you can see that there are a bunch of text nodes filled with lorem ipsum text. I can select all of them, go to EF Tools tab. If I click on Text Transform, I get a similar window, but there are also some extra buttons on the bottom. First, let's find all the dots and replace it with multiple dashes. Rename. You can see that text updated. And also, this menu is not closing, it stays. So you can make multiple changes. These buttons can transform your text depending on what you want. You can make everything to uppercase or maybe lowercase. You can even reverse your text. I don't know any reason that you would want to do this, but in case you want, please be my guest. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I hope that you will become a user of EF Tools. No doubt there are lots of benefits for you to become one. I'll be posting more videos that should make your life easier, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.